John not dead, him not dead, him live on On and on and on and on Yo, John not dead, him not dead, him live on In the heart of man John not dead, him not dead, him live on On and on and on and on Yo, John not dead, him not dead, him live on Peace, peace. This your host, Sila Shalom. And this is a Cosmon teachings in the words of Jehovah and his angel ambassadors from the Cosmon Bible of Waspi. And the topic of discussion today is going to be called the Cosmogony and Prophecy Series, Part 1. Understanding Vortexian Current, the first cause of creation. Now this is a series that will be explaining how the creator created creation using Vortexian Current as the foundation for all created things sun moon stars and planets now in the king james bible it states that god created the heavens and the earth but without an explanation of how he created it but here in Owaspi, i will be explaining exactly how the heavens and the earth were created along with everything else in the universe in these series now the first part is called understanding vortexian current being that the vortex is the foundation and the first cause of all created things, sun, moon, and stars, and planets. Now, the universe is made up of minerals. All minerals are expressed in three forms, gas, liquid, and solid. And all of creation is expressed in these three forms. All the minerals on the periodic table of elements are in a gas form. So iron, carbon, gold, nickel, copper, and any other physical mineral are expressed in these three forms gas, liquid, and solid. Now, out of these three forms, which one came first? That would be gas. Now, ether is a gas, and gas is the first cause of creation. All things in creation start from a gas state, then become a liquid or solid, and then return to a gas state as proof of its origin. Water and fire are manufactured by gases, hydrogen, oxygen, and helium. So before there was light, fire, and water, the gases existed prior to their coming forth. So this is just an example to show how gas, or ether, is the first cause of anything created. Now understanding that gas, or ether, is first cause, and all minerals are expressed in first cause, being gas. So this is the playing ground for creation. This is where it all starts. This is the so-called nothingness, the beginning, the gas state. Now coming back to vortexian current, what is vortexian current? First, a vortex is nothing more than a whirlwind, despite the nature of the material, whether it is a whirlwind of air, water, sand, the formation is still the same. And these are the examples on Earth on a microcosmic level to show what happens on a macrocosmic level. So first, for a vortex to exist, it has to be given a rotary or revolution in the ether, being the gas state unseen, in order to be generated. And the person who gives this rotary or revolution to generate a vortex is the creator, Jehovah. Now in the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 1, verses 8 through 10 and verse 16, it gives a general breakdown of a vortex as it states verse 8 the greater diameter of the vortex is east and west the lesser diameter north and south with an inclination and escalation relatively like the earth verse 9 the name of the force of the vortex is called vortexia that is positive force because it is arbitrary and exerts east and west as in the case of a wheel turning on its axis its force will be at right angles with its axis, the extreme center of which will be no force. Verse 10. For which reason the north and south lines of the Earth's vortex is called the M vortexia, or negative force. For it is the subject of the other, as a whirlwind gathers up straw and dust, which travels toward the center of the whirlwind, and to the poles thereof. Even so do corporeal substances incline to approach the poles of the earth vortex, which may be proven by posing a magnetized needle. Verse 16. 
whereof it may be said, the force of the vortex is toward its own center, but turneth at the center and escape outward at the north pole, as one may draw a line from the east to the center of the earth, then in a right angle due north, which would be the current of the vortex, until the center were filled with a corporeal body, meaning a planetary body, after which the same power applieth and is all one power, although for convenience called positive and negative. So here this verse proves that a vortex has a positive and negative force. The positive force is exerted in an east and west direction, while the negative force is expressed in a north and south direction, being subjected to the positive force. So a vortex is generated by first being given a rotary or revolution, a spin, by the creator. And in the process of the spin, a sufficient amount of gases, minerals, from the outer realm of the vortex is gathered in and made subjected to the vortexian spin or currents. Once the gases are subjected or minerals, the vortex carries the gas and currents flowing in an east and west direction, descending downward south to the center of the vortex where it becomes condensed. And it is at the condensing phase that the vortex begins to manifest warmth, heat, and eventually light in the condensed center of this vortex. And these are the general rules of a vortex prior to any planetary body, sun, moon, star, comets is made. The vortex has to exist first. And with that, I'd like to say peace and blessings and catch you on part two called The Nature of Comets and How They Are Made. Shalom. In the art of man, John no dead, him no dead, him live on, on and on and on and on. Yeah, John no dead, him no dead, him live on.